So, if you haven't heard of her before, well, you're in luck. Alexi McCannon is, or was, the newly appointed editor-in-chief of Teen Vogue magazine, which happened when she was newly appointed two weeks ago, but now, but now, Alexi has decided to resign before her first day of work after receiving backlash over past tweets, which which are racist and homo and homophobic comments. This is her statement right here. She says, hey there, I decided to part ways with Condé Mast. Here is my statement about why, which ultimately says, I became a journalist to help lift up the stories and voices of our most vulnerable communities. As a young woman of color, that's part of the reason I was so excited to lead the Teen Vogue in its Next chapter. My past tweets have overshadowed the work I have I've done to highlight the people and issues that I care about that I care about issues that Team Vogue has worked tirelessly to share with the world. And so Conde Mess and I have decided to part ways. I should not have tweeted what I did and I have taken full responsibility for that. I look at my work and growth in the years since, and I have redoubled my commitment to growing in the years to come as both a person and as a professional. I wish the talent team at Team Vogue the absolute best moving forward. Their work has never been more important, and I will be rooting for them. There are so many stories left to be told, especially those about marginalized communities and the issues affecting them. I hope to have the opportunity to rejoin the ranks of tireless journalists who are shining on light, shining light on the issues that matter every single day. Whew. Well, and uh, after all that, I got some people mad or upset because it's quote-unquote cancel culture doing this. And some people have replied, why are people crying about cancel culture? Oh, well, the bare minimum is to not tweet something racist. That's it. Just don't be racist. Mark Nice, on the other hand, doesn't get it, as always. The cancel culture chickens have come home to roost. Yeah, Mark Dice. I think you should take Sophia Coppola's advice. And stop crying about cancel culture. At Soil of Voice re implied ridiculous. But you us are the same people we were in high school or college. People grow up and see things differently. I'm sick of this. Yeah, well, grow up. Nothing you can do. Just grow up. That's it. Jennifer Batty says, I'm sorry that we live in such an unforgiving environment where deeply held, heartfelt contributions for ignorant childhood words will not be granted any grace. I hope you land somewhere worthy of your talent. He replied, important sign of regarding the Cancelling of 
Alexia Teen Vogue. Many prominent conservatives are rightfully coming to her defense, cr criticizing this dangerous, unforgiving culture. I rarely see such defenses being made on the left when this occurs to a right wing person. And as a left wing person, while I do agree that uh, she should not have been fired for her racist past tweets, as assuming the fact that she's black. Uh, after all, of course. But, uh, you know, things happen. And when things happen, you just have to live with that. You just have to move forward. And I'm pretty sure Alexi McCammond is going to do just fine, really. I'm pretty sure she will. I have faith that she will uh, find a new position to be in at, at a new place but you know yeah I feel I I wish that Condé Mass didn't inspire her but uh, they do have company rules about this for that reason you know it was her decision to also part ways meaning that she was gonna quit anyway because of what she didn't pass. And it's most likely because of the employees who apparently have uh, called out on uh, Alexi McKinnon after they secretly look on her past racist tweets, which I'm not gonna look on her uh, account. I'm not going to look to go and find it because that will take too long. But, uh, yeah, that is something that you should really never say on the internet. It's kind of disrespectful, even though it's on your account. Twitter, of course, is a public platform and anyone of any time can find your tweets. If you make your Twitter account pop private, then and then you're in, in the clear. But you make it Twitter public and you have these racist words about Asian Americans or whatever it was, then, you know, you're at risk of losing your job. And I, if I were her, I would have creeped. I would have actually created a work account for my Twitter account instead of using the account that she has now as my main public account, you know? That's probably a good idea anyway. But I hope she uh, finds a new position soon.